Hey everybody, it's Professor Williams and I want to talk to you for a few minutes about the difference between populations and samples and then the difference between a parameter and a statistic. So our population is simply the group of interest. It's what we want to study and find more information about. And it can be a population that already exists, say voters in the United States over the age of 50, or it could be a population that I create um, by looking at juniors in college in the state of Virginia. So we can look at the population by conducting a census. And in a census, I would look at every little individual observation within the population. That's extremely difficult because sometimes populations are hard to locate and sometimes they're literally of infinite size. So a different way and the most common way to deal with populations is through sampling. So in sampling we simply take a randomly selected subset of the population and create our sample. We then examine the sample and we'll describe it um, in with numerical measures or possibly look at some characteristics in the sample. And when we do that that's fine um, but those are really only descriptive statistics. The real power in statistics is statistical inference. And what we mean by statistical inference is I look at my sample and I make this inference or this deduction or this conclusion that what I see in my sample is what I see in my population. The thing that we have to remember about sampling is that regardless of how careful we are, when we move from the sample back to the population, there is always some degree of error and we'll study that later um, but it's just important to remember right now that when we move from sample data back to the population there is some error present. Because I'm describing my population and my sample with numerical measurements I need to differentiate between the two and so what we what we what we know or how we do it is that we consider a parameter to describe the population and oftentimes that value is actually unknown and we're trying to estimate it from our sample. But when we compute a number or a numerical measurement from sample data, what we actually generate is a statistic. So just remember the mnemonic, right? Populations produce parameters and samples produce statistics. But because I could calculate an average for my population and an average for my sample, we need to be able to differentiate between the two and the way that we do that is through statistical notation. So what I have here is a list of very common measurements um, and the corresponding notation. So we'll see here for size for example. The sample statistic or the sample size is denoted by small n whereas the population parameter or the population size is always capital N. When we calculate the mean or the arithmetic average, the sample statistic that is generated is X bar while we allow the population mean to be represented by this Greek letter mu. When we get to variance and standard deviation for the sample we're going to use S but for the population we're going to use the Greek letter sigma. And then finally for the proportion, for the sample we use p hat and this little caret over top of that p is the hat. So we have p hat for the sample proportion and then capital P for the population parameter or the population proportion. On a side note sometimes you'll see the population proportion represented by the Greek letter pi. As always, I hope that you found this useful and thanks so much for watching.